Hi there. We're back for Pascal's story time. Today we're going to meet a very special boy named Noah in No Nuts for Me by Aaron Zevi. Oh, hi. I didn't notice you at first. I'm still a little sleepy. My name is Noah. Nice to meet you. What's your name? That's a very nice name. So, do you want to spend the day with me? Sounds like a good idea. Hold on while I get dressed. Hey, no peeking. Okay, I'm dressed now. Mom lets me pick whatever I want to wear. Today, I chose my striped t-shirt, blue jean shorts, and running shoes. I can wear something different every day but I always keep my bracelet on. I wear it when I sleep, even when I take a bath. Here, you wanna have a look? It's called a medical alert bracelet. It lets people know that I have a food allergy. I am allergic to nuts. That means if I eat nuts or anything with nuts in it, I could get very, very sick and have to go to the hospital. I am always really, really careful. I always like to say, no nuts for me. Hey, all this talk is making me hungry. Let's go see what's for breakfast. Oh boy, French toast, cool. You want a piece? I put lots of syrup on mine. How about you? Mom says that it looks like I'm trying to drown the toast in syrup. That's just the way I like it. I can eat almost anything for breakfast, as long as it doesn't have nuts in it. Hey, Mom, no nuts for me. Uh-oh, that's the horn. Carpool, come on, hurry up. We have to go to school. Do you want to go to school with me? I promise not to make you do any of my homework. Can't forget my knapsack. It's got my books, my lunch, and of course, my EpiPen. I keep it in this pouch. I'll take it out and show you. I always have my EpiPen with me in case I have an allergic reaction. It is sort of like a needle. That's okay. I'm not so scared of needles. It has, it has medicine in it that will make me feel better until a doctor can give me more medicine. It's only for emergencies. You know someone who has one too? Cool. Come on, I'll introduce you to everyone in my carpool. Hi everyone, this is Andrew, Samantha, and Debbie. I ride to school with them every day. We laugh and sing and make jokes all the way to school. They all know that I'm allergic to nuts. They don't mind. We're all good friends. That's my teacher, Mrs. Cooper. Hi, Mrs. Cooper. When school started this year, she asked me to talk to the class about nut allergies for show and tell. At first, I was nervous. I didn't know what to say. She said to show everyone my EpiPen and talk about what I wasn't supposed to eat. It was fun. Maybe someone can do that at your school. After show and tell, my friend Rachel put up her hand and suggested that no one trade food at lunch. Everyone voted. It was very exciting. Mrs. Cooper said that this was one time when it was okay not to share. Hey, Rachel, I said with a big smile. No nuts for me. Now my friends understand why I can't share their lunch with them. They would never give me something with nuts in it. But sometimes, not even your friends know what is in every food. It is always important to check. I always ask my mom or dad. I never, ever take food from anyone else because I don't know what could be in it. Lunch time. Come on. Let's see what mom made us. Hey, wait. Today is Thursday. Dad makes lunch on Tuesday and Thursday. That's always an adventure. He always puts in a surprise. Today, 
My lunch bag has a chicken salad sandwich, an apple, and some milk. In the bottom of the bag, I find a box of raisins. Dad knows I love raisins. I always love the lunch I bring from home. Mom and Dad are cool. This is our playground. Sometimes, after school, I play baseball with my friends. Everyone wants me on their team. Yesterday, I hit a home run. I'm a very fast runner. Hey, you want to have a race? I bet that you and I would make a great team. Hey, there's Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Sandy is two years older than me. She's the only other kid in my school who also has a food allergy. Sandy is allergic to fish. She also has an EpiPen and has to be very careful about what she eats. I like to talk to her. She helps me a lot. Do you know anyone at your school who has a food allergy? Thursday is shopping day. Do you want to go to the supermarket with me and my mom? Shopping with mom is fun. She always reads every label carefully to make sure that whatever she is buying doesn't contain nuts. She lets me help pick food that is safe for me. Hey, Mom. Yes, Noah, she replies. No nuts for you. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got a birthday party to go to. Come on, we'll go together. It's Debbie's birthday. You met her this morning. She's in my carpool. My mom called her mom to check about the food. Sometimes I go to parties but can't eat the food, especially the birthday cake, because we're not sure what all the ingredients are. This time it's okay. Debbie's mom is cool. Happy birthday, Debbie. I'm sorry that you have to go. I'm going to miss you. Maybe you can come visit, maybe, <laughs> sorry. Maybe you can come visit me another day. That would be great. I think we're going to be good friends. Being allergic to nuts doesn't mean that I can't have fun, only that I have to be careful. See you. Remember, no nuts for me. Thank you, Noah.